Welcome to Bacchus and Hef. This time we bring you the history of Guinness, rich and fascinating, spanning over two and a half centuries. It all began with Arthur Guinness, an enterprising young man from County Kildare, Ireland, who set out to establish a brewery in 1759. Little did he know that his venture would eventually lead to the creation of one of the world's most iconic beer brands. Founding of the Brewery, 1759. Arthur Guinness signed a lease for the St. James's Gate, brewery in Dublin, Ireland, on December 31, 1759. The initial lease was for 9,000 years, at an annual rent of 45 hours. This bold move marked the beginning of Guinness's long and storied history. Early Years and Growth In its early years, Guinness primarily brewed ales. However, it wasn't until Arthur's son, Arthur Guinness II, took over the brewery in 1803 that the focus shifted towards brewing porter, a dark beer style that would become synonymous with Guinness, development of Guinness Stout. In the early 1800s, the brewery began producing a stronger version of porter known as stout, which became increasingly popular. The distinctive flavor of Guinness Stout, characterized by its roasted barley and creamy texture, set it apart from other beers of the time. Exporting Guinness Guinness's reputation grew rapidly, and by the mid-19th century, the brewery was exporting its stout to countries around the world, including the United Kingdom and the United States. If you see the cover of an Irish passport, you'll see nothing but a harp. It's the official national emblem of Ireland. You'll notice the harp on Irish coins, too. The design stems from the 15th century Brian Baru harp, a symbol that reflects Irish culture and arts. But it was Guinness that staked a claim on the harp first. By the 1860s, Guinness Stout was available all over the world, and the Guinness family were in search of a symbol that would firmly identify Guinness as an Irish product and the harp was recognized as the symbol of all that was great about Irish culture and heritage. The iconic Guinness logo, featuring the harp symbol, was trademarked in 1862, further solidifying the brand's identity, innovation, and expansion. Throughout the 20th century, Guinness continued to innovate and expand its operations. In 1959, the brewery celebrated its bicentenary with the release of the Guinness Draft in cans, making it more accessible to consumers worldwide. The introduction of the famous Guinness widget in cans in 1988 revolutionized the experience of drinking draft-style Guinness at home. Merger and Acquisition In 1997, Guinness merged with Grand Metropolitan to form Diageo PLC, one of the world's largest alcoholic beverage companies. This merger expanded Guinness's global reach and solidified its position as a leading player in the beer industry. Cultural Impact Over the years, Guinness has become more than just a beer. It's a cultural icon. The brand's iconic advertising campaigns, such as Guinness is Good For You and Surfer, have left a lasting impression on consumers worldwide. Additionally, the Guinness Book of Records, first published in 1955 to settle disputes in pubs, further contributed to the brand's cultural significance. Modern Era In the 21st century, Guinness continues to thrive, with an extensive range of beers, including variants like Guinness Foreign Extra Stout and Guinness Nitro IPA. The brewery also embraces sustainability initiatives and is committed to reducing its environmental impact. Throughout its history, Guinness has remained a symbol of quality, craftsmanship, and Irish heritage, captivating beer enthusiasts and leaving an indelible mark on the world of brewing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.